Join us on Canterbury Music every Wednesday night at 7.30 on CTV or head to the CTV website or our Facebook page for all the episodes on demand. And that was Hugh Roberts, a former student of the Pittman National Junior Academy of Music. And now joining me, I have Hugh's brother, Martin. Welcome, Martin. Thank you. Now, tell me. Okay, now, I'm, I'm a younger brother myself, and everybody always says, are you following in your brother's footsteps? So let's clear this one up. Are, are you, was music something that you got into individually and, and sort of found a passion for as well? Yes. Um, it would seem that I am following Hugh's footsteps, but I don't think I'm doing that consciously anyway. Yeah. Um, we started at the, around the same age. I was seven. He was, I think, seven. Um, I chose a cello because I had friends who were playing it and also a cousin who was actually my first teacher. Um, and I think Hugh has sort of led the way and found new doors that have then stayed open for me. So in that sense, I have followed on from him. But, but as a whole, you know, your passion for music is, is definitely your own. Yes. That's yeah, good. No, that, so. Absolutely. Now, tell me, the cello is a, a big instrument, and, and the, the th thing I've always thought about, is it, is it hard to lug around? You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's no small feat. It's a big instrument. I it mean, is a big instrument. Um, currently, I cycle a bit with it or take the bus, um, but when flying overseas, it's a bit impractical because it takes up most of the luggage allowance. Um, and then you need an extra big case to protect it because uh, but unless you um, buy a seat for it on the plane, but yeah. it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't want to go down that one yeah. just yet. So tell Definitely. me, why the cello? I mean, obviously it's a, it's a very unique sound. It's an amazing sound and it's one of the ones that, you know, if you hear in an orchestra or, or something, you can, you can pick it out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. But why, why did you choose it? Um, good question. Um, when I was deciding what, which instrument to play. I went and listened to an orchestra and I was sitting near the cello section and I was you know, having a scan around. And I didn't want to pick something like my brother because I'm the younger brother and don't want to do that. You'll pay for that <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> um, and I had the misconception that violins were very girly instruments, so I thought cellos were the best choice. And also having the practicality of having a cousin to teach me. Oh, great. Um, that was really helpful, yeah. So tell me, you're also a former student of the uh, PNJA. Mm -hmm. um, wh what was the academy like for you? I mean, how did it help you to get to where you are? Um, it was actually really good. At, my cousin was taught by my current teacher, who is a teacher, cello teacher at the PNJA. And um, she has really helped me develop and open new opportunities for me. Um, it's really thanks to her that I've been overseas to learn from other teachers as well and I've had lots of performance opportunities with not just solo stuff but jamming music as well. Great. Um, and I've also met a lot of other musicians around the city which have really helped you know, create a sort of... Um, Almost like a network. Or a network, yeah, yeah, exactly. A network yeah. of people that I can go to if I need or you know, we can form groups. Oh, that's great. That's lots well, of fun. And what's your plans for the future? Um, currently, I'm in the middle of a Bachelor of Music at Canterbury University. Wow. Um, after that, I would like to go to Europe, mainly because the music scene there is much bigger and all the music options in New Zealand have already been taken. Yeah. Or well, that's how I see it currently. Yeah. Um, and it's a view shared by a lot of people. And I think it would be good to go to Europe and learn more and and just grow. Just, yeah, exactly, just yeah. grow and perform. And then after that, come back here and share. I think that's the Oh, that's great. As long as you bring plan. it back for us. Don't, don't forget about us now <laughs> as you rise to the top. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. Again, thank all the best th for the future to you and your brother. You know, you guys are, are very, very talented. And, um, you know, you guys are going to go a very long way. So all the best. Thank you. And on that note, we will check out Martin performing on the cello.
that was Martin Roberts performing on the cello and we wish him and his brother Hugh all the best for the future. And if you'd like to join me, come in for a chat and promote yourself and what you do, adam.robertson at ctv.co.nz. Send me in an email, a link to your music video or live performance. It doesn't have to be a $20,000 production, just something where we can show our audiences you know, who you are and, and how good you are at what you do. So send me in an email and also make sure that you send in a little bit of information about yourself as well. Still to come after the break, we have your gig guide and music videos as well. Join us on Canterbury Music every Wednesday night at 7.30 on CTV or head to the CTV website or our Facebook page for all the episodes on demand.